my name is Rasuni, and welcome back to Slay the Spire for the Daily Challenge for the 16th of June 2020. The character is the Iron Watcher. Uh, the modifiers are All Star, Certain Future, and Binary. So, Certain Future and Binary are both going to limit the amount of choices that we get to make, as well as All Star dilutes our starting deck, which is going to result in a lot of people getting the same score as you can already see over there on the board. It also looks like a really hard one. So, let's give it a go. Okay. Potheosis is a great pick up there. Uh, let's have a look at our path. We get two upgrades. One before and one after the first elite. Might as well just play this one slow and normally. No need to get fancy with it. Do that. Violence. Miracle. And then we can just kill. Bronze, Empty Mine, Third Eye. Third Eye's pretty good. Just a decent defense, if nothing else. Upgrade a card on the deck. That's got to be the Apotheosis. It's third Eye first. Throw all of those. Eruption Impatience. Dang, didn't manage. Just looking to try and get the Apotheosis there. Good. Easy kill, followed by another Entropic Brew. I love that. Uh, protect versus Reach Heaven. We can use the Violence to actually fetch the Through Violence from Reach Heaven. It's decent damage as well. We do have an Elite coming up. Nirvana, what if you scratch roll three block? Uh, flying Slays there? Flying Slays is just some damage. We need to take cards in basically all of these opportunities to do so though. Talk to the hand is too good to turn down. Do we also take the Holt? I think we do. I think we are going to go Wrath and just very aggressive with Talk to the Hand and the Holt. Things that we might play before the Apotheosis need to get upgraded, so powers are a good example of that. Okay. Come on, and it's unfortunate. Just set up the talk to the hand and wait. Really, all of our setup is on the bottom of the deck? That sucks. I was just looking for a way to full defend that turn because I'm pretty sure I can full defend this fight if I do it correctly. Damn. We cannot. Another strike would have gotten me there though. Give me another bone. Empty body foresight. I'm fine without. Uh, no, I'll take foresight. Then upgrade the foresight so that I can use it to scry to the apotheosis if need be. Bag of marbles for vulnerability on turn one. Remove a card from the deck. It's really hard to afford removing a card from the deck, and I also want to save my money. Because when I remove a card from the deck, I also need to find another card later to include at this point, because I'm trying to get 50. Cards overall. Play that one slow because I didn't get the eruption in the opening hand. Alright. The two impatiences are really bad with the sense of time though, unfortunately. 
Flex potion. Yeah, worship just lucky. Uh, that's really hard to take. I'm going to take a worship and we'll see if we do some nutty stuff with it. Take a flex potion for possibly instantly ending fights. Speaking of instantly ending fights. I'll talk to the hand because then flying sleeves is guaranteed to be in my next hand with a retain and I've got the kill. Battle him for a smite in hand every turn. God, those impatiences are really bad. But they're only getting worse, especially with, you know, retained attacks. I think I may end up removing them, actually. You know, follow up with the impatience. Not follow up with the impatience. Follow up with the violence is really good. Let's upgrade two random cards happily. Let's upgrade another here. Go for the sword of the hand. Ah, I see. Awful opening hand. At least we're in wrath, though. Could be worse. Could be worse. Go. Devotion establishment. I actually retain a decent amount of cards now. One, two. It's not enough. It's devotion, I guess. Okay. Uh, remove two cards from the deck again. No, not really going to want to do that. Sozu, so that I can't take any more potions. The enemy's strength effectively gets doubled because a lot of the time I'm going to be in wrath, so the Philosopher's Stone is harder to take here. I'll take Sozu. I think there's enough reason on the side to go for that. Really wish I could have put an enemy on the ground there because the rest of this fight's going to be really hard. Uh, let's generate an attack. Just cut through fate so I can... Um, Two, three, draw into a flying sleeves. Great. Just gonna throw all of those. None of those are really the kind of card we're gonna want to cast right now. Wait, foresight. Violence draws nothing for us. I was just seeing if I had a zero cost attack or anything in there. It's pretty certain I didn't, though. Alright, we've got an easy kill this time, then. Just any aggression will do it. We only took one hit over the course of that as well. Uh, pre upgraded crescendo or foreign influence? Pre-upgraded Crescendo is good for suddenly getting into Roth to finish off an enemy, but I already kind of do that with my deck. Go for the Foreign Influence. Okay. Enemies being vulnerable on turn one is pretty good. As it turns out, it's pretty dang good. Do I? I think I do. Mm. Took 12 damage there, but I've got to compare that up against how much damage I was going to take otherwise on that turn. Also, it does look like I take even more damage. Hang on. Hang on. We can turn that to 28. We can turn it to 32. We can't turn it to lethal, though. Ow. 
Okay, yeah, now definitely was wrong. Thankfully, we have the meat on the bone to help heal us back up. Prostrate's not bad with the amount of draw that we have. Uh, whenever you gain block this turn, apply one weak to wall enemies. Actually, I kind of want all of these guards on the top lane. Getting close to our 50 cards. Alright. We should have relative ease getting into Divinity to get out of Wrath here. Whether or not we're going to need that is an entirely different question, though. Let's see if reality is just good enough. The devotion upgrade as well, just in case. I draw it early, that is. Still got enough block for that turn, but it's about to get really hard because, yeah, that's a 21 incoming. If I played those in a different order, I would have had full defense, though. Dang it. Alright. I'm going into Wrath and drawing a bunch of cards and fighting for a bunch of damage this turn. Uh, cut the Prostrate and the... Worship there. Let's go talk to the hand, reach heaven. Halt. It wasn't reach heaven, it was sands of time. We should have played, that is. Well, at least we have the meat of the bone to heal us back up after that. That one was bad, though. We'll kick for the extra draw. I also want extra energy. If I can get it, get the foreign influence upgrade as well to make the cards cost zero. Makes life a lot easier. Strike dummy. Cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Do I want to get rid of a rare right now? And if I do, which? No, but I think I get rid of the sense of the time uncommon. Because it's getting in the way of the impatience too commonly. Okay. Foreign influence finds sword boomerang. No, I'm gonna rebound wheel kick. And wheel kick was back atop my deck there if I needed it. Turns out I didn't know. I'll take a Tranquility just as effectively extra energy pump on the turn that I decide to go into Wrath. Okay. Just love making everyone weak with the wave of the hand. It's so good. But... I was trying to use headbutt as though it was worship. Uh, sorry, as though it was a uh, rebound. So I was going to try and put the worship back on top of the deck there. Almost got a halt collector's bonus. Ooh, the start of your turn had a spine in your hand. I'm feeling a lot better about that right now. Well, with my consistent ability to play basically all of them. No, but the impatience is worse now if I take that. Can I have two more so I can buy, please? Alright, 
right, so we're just gonna go off next turn. Beam Cell will actually be more impactful than any other ones there. They perform pre-upgraded or in a piece. Uh, in a piece actually doesn't really contribute much to this deck. Nor does Daver form. And that's going to be our first pass. If we end up with 49 cards, oh, I'm going to feel so bad about it. But I'll know what moment to track it to. Now we should also upgrade things that give us extra draws so that we can get to the Apotheosis more easily. Oh, well, I don't have the ability to maintain perfect in this fight anyway with an eruption in the opening hand blocking these impatiences. Unless I erupt right now and then use the impatiences to try and search for halts. Am I okay to do that? Yeah, screw it, let's try. Down one halt. We almost actually full block there. And prostrate, wallop, follow up, and just throw out another defend just for some extra weakness on you. Totally fine hand right there. It's foreign influence to get a sense of time, zero cost, wheel. Chrysalis to add three into the deck and then upgrade those rather than upgrading that to add five into the deck and then having five unupgraded ones in the deck. Use Prostrate to exit that attack mode of Wrath. Enemies not attacking, so I can definitely just halt to crush joints, talk, swift strike. Do I need to halt? No, just wheel kick, I guess. Really unfortunate to get violence right at the very end of the deck there. But I'm going to be back in Divinity this turn. So it's effectively just a Divinity Wrath Swap deck. As soon as I saw violence was going to be that hand, I knew we already had lethal. Establishment, whenever a card is retained, reduces cost by one for the combat. I like that, but I've gradually moved away from the ability to utilize that. We'll take a vault instead. Uh, we have no curses in the deck yet, so it's going to be really, really hard to take a cursed key. Well, sorry, it's it's not hard to take a cursed key. It's going to be really hard to get the curses modifier. I wanted that to discard the strike, actually. Unfortunate that we could not get it to do so. Maybe I should have used it earlier in the turn. Let's definitely take the wallop, though. Okay. Let's do a little more setup for a later turn. Vault for the next as well. There's in uh, the worship is already divinity for us. Unfortunately, I have no ability to kill without taking damage though. It's a good bowling bash with some AoE help. Upgrade another card. Good. We're getting a surprising amount of upgrades for a apotheosis deck, especially a certain future deck as well. Okay. Ooh, flurry of blows. We jump between stances often enough to actually utilize that. Unfortunately, because we didn't perfect last floor, we're just not going to get the perfect... Uh, not going to get the perfect. I mean, that's obvious. But we're not going to get the high score. Or any reasonably high score at all. I imagine we might be down the bottom of the top page, if at all.
Okay. Completely saved against all of that damage. We've got the worship going off this turn. No, wait, we don't. Worship almost would have gone off that turn. Foreign influence for... God, I wish that was playable. Uh, let's crush joints. I'm gonna... Wheel kick, throw the wheel kick back to the top of the deck, and then use vault to skip to the next turn. Nice. I mean, this hand kind of plays itself. We didn't really even have to be there for that one. It's totally fine. Some patience first. Ooh, flurry blows, nice. Then let's violence. Really, extremely not getting what we wanted there. Pass entirely over all of those, looking for stance changes. Stance changes, sorry. I want one of the prostrates upgraded so that I don't have to get apotheosis before I can play two prostrates in day worship. I've had it punish me a couple times now, so I know that I need it. There you go. That'll get our kill next turn as well as fully defend us here. the wallop. I feel really good about that with the strength potion and the flex potion in particular. Let's get a prostrate upgrade. Whispering voices in the back of the head. Uh, two madnesses? I think I might actually need the two madnesses there to help us get to enough cards. Take another halt. more cards. I'd have to take one from most of those spaces. Let's see if Windmill Strike. Oh, right. I get a curse in this space as well. Shouldn't need that then. Uh, I'll take Brilliance just for the damage, honestly. Plus, it'd be great later on. Let's go for another wave of the hand there. We've got duality. Whenever you play an attack, gain one temporary dex. Oh, I need patience. Okay, now we can just draw the uh, to worship this turn. We would be fine. Sadly, that is not worship this turn. I can't take the straight up damage from that spiker right now. All right. And now that we're in Divinity, we honestly just need to look for defense. Because we should be able to get the kill with pretty much anything. Next upgrade, let's start getting the Impatience to draw extra cards for us. So that it's a lot easier for us to get down to... Uh, yeah, so it's a lot easier for us to get down to the Apotheosis as early as we can. Speaking of the Apotheosis as early as we can, let's Apotheosis as early as we can.
That'll do. I just wanted to be avoiding being made vulnerable because the enemy can do some serious stuff to you after you become vulnerable in this fight. Alright. The Simmering Fury, we're very much going for the kill this turn. Oh, with these, we're definitely going for the kill this turn as well. I should have just ended the hitting a little earlier. Then I wouldn't have gotten that Parasite. Uh, take another Deceive. Just because if the next one also has a Deceive, then that's another Collector's Bonus for us. And maybe that's enough to give us a good score. Had to just make sure I got the Divinity out as early as possible there. Could be relevant. Who knows? Right, will kick, what are you finding? Basically nothing, it turns out. At least we're below half HP for the meat of the bone trigger now. Enter Tranquility for the end of the turn. Yeah. Just so that we have the ability to get back into Eruption here for extra energy. And eh, do we want to? you down another couple cards that we can't get i'll take an inner piece now i think the uh draw is probably worth it and we have enough energy to actually afford it as well and i'll rest here we're just going to be relying on the apotheosis okay wave of the hand into wallop sash whip Wait, it should have been talked to the hand sash with. We could have done that at the end. Right. It's fine though. We still get weakness across all of them. That's all we really desperately needed there. Okay. Crush joints into magnetism strike and then safety is enough defense for us. Get to hold on to two attacks. Let's think ahead for a second. Worship. I want that, but not yet. It's already enough defense for us. That'll have to do. We need to be able to get the kill in the back line the next turn. Or at least... Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. That'll be fine with the dash. Or at least attack it enough times to be fully defended. Get extra defend there. Don't need to, though. Devotion needs to come out still. There's Devotion. Thank you. We're immediately showing up after I asked for it. I'll keep Vault Madness and try and make those the last two cards we play on that turn. So we just get to skip an extra turn for the cost of two cards in hand. I mean, it'll work. 
And yeah, now it's time to go off. Let's double flurry you. Prostrate before we madness. Violence just to draw some more attacks. I mean, I'll keep the impatience just for after I'm done with all the attacks in my hand at the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to cast the... Oh, the impatience is gone. Okay, so we did manage to perfect the final fight at least. 880, yeah. That's really annoying. That's, that is the number that I saw most people get. I imagine this might have actually been a relatively similar path in order to get it as well. So yeah, we're, you know, 13 to 16 around that range. If we'd perfected another one, we would have been 6 to 7. These ones up in here, in the very, very top, I would love to know what they actually did. Especially VG Lubber. Whew. Well dang done. For the moment, though, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. And hopefully we'll see you next time.